Hi friends, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Chillin' with Chino. It's been such a long time. I apologize for the long, long, long absence, but Rona, you know, she'd be crazy. Anyways, so I'm sure some of you guys might be surprised as to why I'm back doing another unboxing. Because in the last videos, I said I had stopped my subscription. And I did stop my subscription, but I actually continued to get more boxes. So I did verify that I canceled my subscription, which I did, but I think I paid, prepaid. But I think I must have prepaid for a. I must have prepaid for an amount of time, which is why I'm getting more boxes. But anywho, I received three more boxes this year. We are now in July, so I figured, you know what, might as well post them for you guys. I actually already opened this box. This is the second time I'm recording this unboxing because the first time I forgot to hit record, which defeats the whole purpose of an unboxing, but you know. I'm actually drinking in the afternoon. In this Starbucks tumbler, I have... This is called Wild Basin Boozy Sparkling Water. It's 100 calories, gluten-free, zero sugar, one gram of carb. And I'm not being sponsored. Could you believe it? Wild Basin is a lush and unspoiled spot along the St. Vrain River. Our backyard playground nestled deep in the mountains of Colorado. It's clean, pristine, and untamed, just like our wild basin boozy sparkling water. 5% alcohol. I'm not endorsed, but wild basin, if you want to, you know, endorse me, please do. Okay, so like I said, I already opened this box literally just 10 minutes ago, and I have to do it again. But let's get to it. So, again, this is your generic Sanrio box. It has a small gift on the front. On the side, it has Loot Crate and Hello Kitty and Friends. On this side, it has all of the Sanrio characters. Not all, but in regards to this Loot Crate. But we'll do a quick roll call. We have Choco Cat, Pom Pom Perrin, Bats Maru, Hello Kitty, My Melody, Kiropi, and Pachaco. Same thing on this side. Over here, <laughs> over here, we have just the back. It has my address. Nobody wants any of that. So we'll just cover that bad boy up. As you guys see, this box was actually taped like this. So the box can't close because the items inside were too large. But I did just open it, so. I will try to reenact. Let's channel surprised Johnny. Okay, I think I'm there. So let's open her up. Ooh. Very, very, very cute. Big smile. Thumbnail. Anyways, so up here we have. It looks like a baking box. I'm trying to be surprised. Actually, it is a baking box, but it has Cinema Roll, Hello Kitty, all of the characters right now from the box in like doing some type of baking action or with like baking goods, like flour, eggs, there's apples, a rolling pin. Anyways, this is a very cute box so far. It has your generic Hello Kitty print paper, Sanrio print paper. Like, you guys know that I love this paper. It's very, very, very cute. It would make very good gift wrapping if there was something that was, you know, in this shape, but it's very cute. Let's open her up. So, so the first item that I'm going to show you guys is this enamel pin of Cinema Roll with a flower on his head. Is Cinema Roll a guy or girl? 
Or do we even ask that question? Cinema roll, how do you identify? What is your pronoun? Go on, social worker. Okay, but cinema roll is very, very, very cute in this. And it says sweet treats, it's an enamel pin, and it has two secure things on the back. Very cute. One of the cuter enamel pins that I think the Loot Crate has given us. We'll put that on the side. What else do we have here? This, when I first opened, I was thoroughly, thoroughly surprised because it's very cute. This is a kitchen towel, or as we call them, a dish rag. And it has like all of the Sanrio characters from the box doing baking things, like I mentioned before. You have Kiropi with a carton of milk, cinnamon roll with the flour, Bad Bats Maru. He's eating a bow cookie. Okay, I'll tell you why I'm excited about that in a second. Pom Pom Marin with a basket of eggs. My Melody with, I don't know, a jar of butter. Whatever that is. And Little Twin Stars with a basket of egg and cookies. And on the side, throughout them all, you will see just a bunch of baking stuff. This is very cute. I really appreciate it when the subscription box gives us items that we would actually use. And the reason I say that is because I'm not big on knickknacks. I get really excited and, you know, I'm happy when I see cute things, but in the grand scheme of things, I would really, really, really like to receive things that I might actually use so they just don't sit around. You guys could already see I am a man of clutter, so I already have an issue with clutter within my house. This would just give me that opportunity to actually utilize things that I spend my money on. So this will be put to use. But for those people who also got this, make sure you throw it in the washer first. Let's see if there's instructions on how to clean this. Okay, machine wash cold, tumble dry low. Don't bleach. But yeah, this is something I would definitely use. So I like this. And there's actually a little hook here so that you could hook it onto something. Very cute. Okay. Over here, this actually is super duper cute. It is a sky blue apron with the exact same print from that kitchen towel. Kind of same print. You have Hello Kitty with a mixing bowl and she's mixing something. You have My Melody rolling out some dough. You have the bow. You have Pom Pom Purin with a basket of eggs. You have the ribbon cookies. Cinema roll with flour. And Kiropi with another mixing bowl of some sort with eggs on a weight machine. That's not a weight machine. What is that called? You have Kiropi with a basket of eggs and he's weighing them. Then you have little twin stars, Kiki and Lala, with some baked goodies and that's Maru trying one of them out. So this is very cute. I actually really like this. It's one of the aprons that you just tie around the waist. I actually will use this, but the aprons that I prefer are the ones that go from the top down. And that's because I always get my t-shirts dirty whenever I'm baking in, and or cooking in the kitchen. But this is very cute. And I believe you would wash this the same way. Yep, 100% cotton, machine wash cold, do not bleach, tumble dry, low. And don't iron these. I think the heat is no bueno for them. Okay, what else do we have here? Oven mitts! So when I open these, these are actually my favorite items of this box. But 
They're super cute. They're actually my favorite colors. I love pink and I love mint green. And together they form watermelon mint, which is my favorite drink at Trader Joe's. It's a tea, great for the summer. I should be drinking that right now, but I'm drinking alcohol instead. But these are the colors of watermelon mint. So that's why this is my favorite. But I have not tested these out by any means. They fit well and I am a grown male and these fit just fine. The fabric feels very, very good, very durable. There's little hooks, there's the little bows which are super cute. And I would definitely use these. I don't know how heat tolerant these are, but they're cute, they feel very durable, and they seem like something that would work. So good job, Sanrio Loot Crate. So far this box is killing it. I don't see any knickknack items that I wouldn't use. Maybe the enamel pin, but if 90% of the items in this box are actual usable items, I'm sold. So let's see. This one was super cute. It says sweet treats. It's a little tin box and I'll just tell you what it is without opening it. It is a recipe tin. So this is the same print, kind of. This is the same print from before. This is the same print. Kuropi with milk, I don't think I've seen, but very similar print. And when you open her, you see little recipe index cards. And the reason that this is significant is because in the other items, you see Hello Kitty's red bow stamped everywhere, or pink bow. And the recipe that's provided, which I will insert in the description box below, is this strawberry shortbread bow cookie, which is super cute. I love that. I do bake pretty often, so, oh, cool. And it has like directions on the back if you wanna jot down notes and stuff. And when I initially opened it, I thought that there would be a lot more recipes, but there aren't, which is totally fine. But it's just this one recipe that they provided, and the rest are blank cards. And... And it has dividers, so it has twin stars, cinema roll and karobi, and my melody. So all in all, very, very, very cute. Am I missing an index card? No. But I would totally use this. And maybe I'll just do a video baking these cookies with all of the oven mitts, the apron and everything, and very cute. What else do we have in this box? Oh, the pamphlet. So it says, sweet treats. Very cute. This is the back. I'll do a quick read through of each item. So the recipe card 10, this secret ingredient is friendship. Recipe card 10, the secret ingredient is friendship. Keep your recipe safe with this extra special tin featuring Hello Kitty, Little Twin Star, Bats Maru, My Melody, and Kuropi. Very cute. The apron, send the af apron. Spend the afternoon with your friends whipping up cookies, cakes, and yummy treats galore in this adorable apron. Will do. Exclusive. Oven mitts. Oven mitts. Serve up some freshly baked goodies with these perfectly pink oven mitts featuring Hello Kitty's signature bow. Safe for temperatures up to 200 degrees Celsius and 392 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll check that out. The enamel pin with cinema roll pin. Show everyone how super sweet you are with this decadent cinema roll enamel pin. Will do. 
Lastly, the kitchen towel. Clean up around the kitchen with help from Hello Kitty, Little Twin Stars, Fast Maru, Cinema Roll, Kurobi, My Melody, and Pom Pom Purr. Very, very, very cute. So you guys, that was the box. What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comment below. I actually really enjoyed this box personally. It has a lot of items that I would use and not just keep in a box. So I'm not big on tchotchkes like I mentioned before. I do appreciate cute tchotchkes, but I don't know what to do with them afterwards, you know? But I really like this box. And this box is from December. Well, it was the December edition, but it was sent to me this year. So, thoughts guys, should I resubscribe and continue to post these videos? I actually have two more of these videos to go, so stay tuned. Is it stay tuned or stay tuned? Anywho, I'll figure it out and let you guys know. Please take care of yourselves and each other. Be kind and more importantly, be loved. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please feel free to give me a thumbs up, comment down below. If you want to know when I post a new video, hit that subscription bell, that notification, hit that notification bell and you'll get notified, allegedly. I don't know. I haven't done it. But I hope you guys stay safe and take care. Bye, you guys.